Hello and welcome back to Touch Crypto for another video. In this video, we're going to be diving back into Cox Inu because exactly what we said in the last video that if we use this area as a support area, that we could see a bounce to the upside. But how high further can we go? Or are we going to immediately crash before we see a huge pump? Either way, guys, if you stick around for the show, I will show you exactly where we think it's going to head. So let's roll the intro. Hello guys and welcome back to Touch Crypto for another video. All right guys, so jumping into the chart, it looks like from a daily perspective that we've in fact bounced up from the area of interest, which would have been in that support area right here. And if you look down to the wick, we've literally wicked right inside the area, or should we say close to the support line. So anywhere slightly above or on the line, it'd be a good sort of entry point. And that'd be a good area to enter anywhere near there. Had you gone in there, you would have been up by the 16%. You may have even wicked up to 21% to the upside. Now, this would have been a perfect accumulation uh, area. Had you been hodling as we pumped up, and when we got back down, that would have been a perfect area for accumulation. If you are an intraday trader, that would still be a perfect place for a short term trade to us to reach back up into this uh, rectangle long box over here. Either way, guys, as long as we continue to push upwards, we just need to break up and above this recent highs in, in order for us to see ourselves back in the price discovery phase in order for us to push even further higher higher but let's have a look at what's going on on bitcoin to determine just how much are we going to continue to push our way to the upside all right <clears throat> even with bitcoin it shows that we are still currently within this zone up here from there to there and as long as bitcoin that's decided to break up and to retest this all time high, which would be another 8% move to the upside. So that 8% move to the upside for Bitcoin would more or less see Coxinu easily go back up to our most recent highs so from our current price we are approximately or around about 24 percent move to the upside so you see guys the power of <clears throat> you know cross-referencing between btc charts and whatever altcoin you have you can seriously determine in terms of the direction of bias through the bitcoin charts in order for you to get a direction of bias via your old chosen altcoins say for example in this video mine is coxinu so if you go further further up that will be additional 24 percent in addition from this move from down here so if you do go all the way back up to our last all-time high from that bottom entry level over here that will give you approximately 42 percent move to the upside in fact slightly higher 43 to maybe 45 depending on whether you measure by the body or by the wick so that's my daily chart analysis let's go down to the four hourly chart so you can see how we are looking on a slightly smaller time frame all right so as we can see that we have been wicked into our trade over here and we should be expecting a bit more further pump to the upside the only snag that i can see from here from the intraday trader perspective we need to break above this area here because as you can see to your left We've been wicked in, that's been used as a temporary support. If you look further this way, you see even more wicks about here and there as well. So that is the liquidity grab. So quite possibly we could go further down from me. Quite possibly. Maybe to retest here or even push all the way back down to maybe the bottom of this level. If we break that bottom of the level, we could see even further push to the downside. But we just need to see uh, the charts or the, the price of uh, Coxini break above this rectangle box here in order for us to remain at least bullish for now. 
and if we do then that's very British territory and then if we continue to push our way up from here we should be able to see a massive move back to the upside how massive would we be looking at from a short-term perspective well to be a little bit more precise let me get the measuring tool and I measure precisely from where we are that's the current price of Cox Inu. If we reach to the very top of that Fibonacci retracement tool, that would be an additional 330% move to the upside. And that would be quite sick of a move, but I don't think that we're going to stop there. I still reckon, I reckon, I reckon we should be able to break or eat up at least a couple of zeros. And we just need to, I reckon we will get up to half a second quite easily. So once again, let's pull out the uh, measuring tool. Now, if we find that half a set mark, that will give us still pushing. Look at that. Very close to half a cent. No, we're not. Ah, okay, so let's say even if we get to a half a cent from here, that would give us a hundred and four thousand percent move to the upside or thereabouts, anywhere between here. Okay, guys, remember this is just for. This is not financial advice, it's purely for entertainment purposes, but I would not be surprised and it wouldn't be quite out of the realm if we see, you know, coins, similar valuation as Coxinu do a crazy move like that during the um, bull season. We've already seen coins doing more than, you know, several hundreds and even a couple of thousand percent moves up already. Depending on which exchange you want, you will, you will see quite a few coins that's done that already. However, those are probably coins that have just been most likely, likely released or gone through its pre sale. With Coxini, I can imagine that this meme coin, as well as ones that I've been talking about in my video, can see this sort of move. So, do not be surprised. That's why you should add more to your bags. That way, you will see a crazy move to the upside. And uh, yeah, guys, I guess this is going to be the, it for the video. I hope you do find my channel useful and informative. And if you haven't already, you may obviously check out my Patreon in my description, as well as uh, if you'd like to do me a favor, please subscribe right over here. And if you haven't done so already, you can check out my last Black Ox Indie right over here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>